Hey, this is Nat, and we're off our couch in Orlando, Florida, in Lake Nona, a visionary community with a focus on technology, innovation, and art. And in this video, our focus is on the art because we are taking an art tour around Lake Nona. And no funds are required. You can leave your wallet behind since this is a free activity. In fact, when we first visited Lake Nona um, during our video, Free Things to Do in Orlando Part 2, that video is in the description box if you're looking for free activities while you're in Orlando and in that video we spent our time at the Lake Nona Sculpture Garden which is an outdoor space 50,000 square feet full of sculptures like the Charging Bull, one of the most recognized sculptures in the world, just one of the pieces of the Lewis Collection, um, one of the world's largest private art collections. And these pieces are placed strategically amongst the trees and plants of this garden. Since that video, we have become wiser because we have learned that there is more to art in Lake Nona than just this sculpture garden. There is art all over Lake Nona. Uh, there is art even behind us now at the Lake Nona Wave Hotel. Even though we're not staying here, uh, we would absolutely love to. Uh, it is in the plans for one day, sooner rather than later. Uh, we can still walk around the lobby and enjoy the art in here. And this is just our starting point as we explore the art that is available in Lake Nona. Uh, we are on our way to see more and we won't hit it all up on this visit which is why I will include the link for the Lake Nona art tour in the description box as a source for your adventures. And if you do enjoy getting off the couch with us to help plan your future adventures, we invite you to subscribe. Uh, we have more adventures on the way here in Orlando and elsewhere. And for this adventure, our first stop, well, second actually, because we have just left the Lake Nona Sculpture Garden and the Lake Nona Wave Hotel to make our way to the Code Garage. Uh, we are still within the town center, Lake Nona Center for Shopping, Dining, and Entertainment. The Code Garage is designed with imagery and messages written in binary code, uh, the most basic form of computer code. And if you translate the binary code that covers this four-story garage, the missions and goals of the Lake Nona community are revealed. And wow, uh, these are a lot of missions and goals. Uh, this is a lot to aspire to. Now attached to the Code Garage is the Beacon, a landmark that um, comes alive at night with video, music, and interactive elements. And there are some visual elements right here, right now that we can see during the day. Um, with the app, which I'm downloading now, the poster will take us through a 3D augmented reality. Uh, there are a total of 10 outdoor posters created by the artist, and they are on display throughout Orlando. So this poster, uh, I hope you all can see it. The sun is so bright and there are reflections too. But just in case, I'll narrate. The black figure is moving, birds are flying. Um, I'm sure you can hear it at least. Uh, this is engaging, no doubt. And even though we're catching this poster during the end of his time here in Lake Nona, these posters are on display in downtown Orlando through January 2025. And I'll have the website link in the description box for more information about this project and the posters. Our next art to admire is right beside us, cat a corner to the Code Garage, and that is the prismatic mural inspired by a deconstructed prism. Uh, the mural illustrates interactive light creating a spectrum of different colors how cool I love all of these colors I feel like this is a must if you're doing an art tour here um, because you really have to get a picture in front of this right and I love too how the artist signs off too on their work and like we just did at the Code Garage, um, be sure that you're looking down and not just ahead. Uh, you want to be on the lookout for these QR codes with information about the artist as well as the um, art that we're seeing. Okay, so I can see our next stop from here. Um, the kids in London are actually already there um, because this is so cool. This is another can't miss um, when you're designing your Lake Nona art tour. And this is the Disco Doll Sculpture. Um, this work is actually by the same artist, um, 
Jeffrey. I've heard the name pronounced a few different ways. So if I went with the wrong one, forgive me, please. Uh, anyways, this is the same artist that created the beacon and the cold wall and quite a few of the sculptures um, that we had the chance to admire in the sculpture garden outside the Lake Nona Wave Hotel um, where we were in the beginning of the video. The artist is a resident here in Lake Nona and this sculpture is here to welcome both residents and guests uh, as they enter the town center of Lake Nona. We'll continue to walk around the town center and off in the distance, um, that is the DNA garage. Uh, it looks like there's some construction work going on over there so I won't get closer, um, but it is really cool. The color-coded vertical bars on the garage are in the shape of a double helix or wave. Each colored bar represents the four bases that hold together a DNA helix, uh, representing the um, genetic blueprint of a Valencia orange. That is deep, <laughs> especially considering this is a garage. Uh, you see more art here as we walk away from the garage and we ran across more art pieces across the street um, as we just walk around, just enjoying the um, quiet, the nature and the art here in Lake Nona. We are gonna get in a car right now um, and drive over to a different section of Lake Nona. It's not real far. We're heading to Laureate Park, which is just about a mile away, so we can view the glass house. The glass house is a work of art using reclaimed materials and stained glass, radiating a sense of spirituality. And this is definitely art because the door is locked. You cannot enter the glass house. Now, if someone did live in this glass house, though, um, they definitely wouldn't be critical at all because, you know, people who live in glass houses should not throw stones. <laughs> Do you guys remember that saying or is it just me that heard that every other day when I was a kid? <laughs> it's cool to see a glass house though. Uh, as a kid, I always wondered like who, who even has a glass house? <laughs> Anyways, right across the way, there is another sculpture, a nature sculpture to look at. One of many. Um, I wonder how many we may have already seen. Um, this is the first QR code that I've seen though um, with the nature sculpture. So maybe this is our first one, I'm not sure. Um, but possibly maybe we'll run into some more today too on our adventures. Anyways, these nature sculptures are created in Argentina from reused materials from that region inspired by the nature and wildlife uh, within the artist's home, which is southern Argentina. And if y'all wouldn't mind too much, uh, I'd like to go backwards, back to the town center um, where we just were. And we won't waste time since we'll have the chance to see more art along the way, which I did not see listed on the art tour guide. And it's also where the car is parked, um, in a garage that I, again, did not see on the art tour guide that I'm using from the Lake Nona website. But it looks so cool. It's definitely not your typical parking garage, right? Uh, so I thought I should look into this more. And this is the Wave Garage. It is adjacent to the Lake Nona Wave Hotel and the Sculpture Garden where we started the video. This is also a work by the artist Jeffrey and it is a visual and lighting interpretation of Braille. And once the sun sets, the LED accents that are within this garage transforms the building into a colorful spectacle. Another reason to enjoy the art scene here at night as well. Uh, but that will have to be another adventure for us. Uh, we want to thank you all for joining us for this daytime tour of Lake Nona from the town center to Laureate Park, back to the town center. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out here in Lake Nona with us and checking out the different art. Thanks so much for getting out the couch with us. And if you have a trip planned to Orlando and to the Lake Nona area, we'd love to hear about it. And if you found this video helpful with your planning, please let us know that. If there's a sculpture or a mural or an art piece that you really love that you can call your favorite, um, tell us please. And continue to join us please for another adventure. A new adventure comes out each and every Saturday. And our next adventure takes us to Lake Louisa State Park in Claremont, Florida. We're just 30 minutes from Orlando, so we're not going too far if you're still planning that trip to Orlando. And this is an excellent spot to get away from the crowds, the hustle and bustle of the city, as well as the prices. Uh, take a break emotionally physically and financially with us as we discover the lakes, the trails, the incredible variety of amenities and things to do, plus the astonishing views of Lake Louisa State Park. So join us please off the couch next Saturday for a new adventure. If you yet to subscribe, subscribe please. And if you haven't signed up for our monthly newsletter, we invite you to do that as well. 
Each newsletter provides travel tips, travel inspiration, and recommendations of places that we feel are worth a visit. The sign up link is in the description box and on our website at offourcouch.com. As always, thanks so much for joining us on this adventure here in Orlando for an art tour of Lake Nona. Thank you for getting out the couch with us. We thank you for all of the likes, the comments, the shares, suggestions, and feedback. Your willingness to join us off the couch week after week is what makes these adventures possible. So thank you. Until next week, click on the video to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.